morning, it's Tuesday, 4th of October 2016. This is Sylvia Shramurti and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adamandeng.com. Let's start with the paper highlights in daily news. The top highlight says, FR challenging constitutionality of national government dismissed. The Supreme Court yesterday refused leave to proceed with the fundamental rights petition which sought a declaration that the present government formed after August 17th general election is not a national government within the meaning of Article 46 Part 5 of the Constitution. While refusing to grant leave to proceed with the case, the three-judge bench comprising Chief Justice K. Sri Pavan, Justice Cicero de Abreu and Justice Upali Abhayratan observed that the court should not interfere with the affairs of parliament in accordance with the Parliament Powers and Privileges Act. Another highlight says, CID raids SAITM Institute seizes several body parts. The Criminal Investigation Department yesterday raided the SAITM Institute in Malabi and seized several body parts, including those suspected to be of rugby player was in tragedy. And the highlight in the middle says, PM to leave for Delhi to attend WEF. As the economics of the world turn to India, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe will leave to New Delhi today to participate in the World Economic Forum. India Economic Summit scheduled to be held from October 6 to 7. He is expected to hold key talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and key Indian cabinet ministers. And the highlight at the bottom says, Lost opportunity to SL Army. The Sri Lanka Army a few months ago lost a major opportunity to deploy a thousand strong battalion to serve in the UN peacekeeping forces which are currently servicing in the conflict-ridden East African nation of Mali. The Mali mission, termed as MINUSMA, thus far has been proven to be one of the world's deadliest missions with 68 UN peacekeepers being killed since its deployment in 2013. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, CID search SAITM for Tajri's body parts. The CID and a team of experts yesterday searched the laboratory of the South Asian Institute of Technology and Medicine in Malabe for Wazim Tajri's body parts which had gone missing after the initial post-mortem examination. Another highlight says, Indian police arrest a pigeon. Indian police said Monday they have taken a pigeon into custody after it was found carrying a warning note to Prime Minister Narendra Modi near the nation's heavily militarized border with Pakistan. The highlight in the middle says, Some Tamil politicals not pragmatic, says Douglas. Elam People's Democratic Party leader, MP Douglas Devananda, who responded to the protest march led by Northern Province Chief Minister C. V. Vigneshwaran, said, A segment of Tamil politicians did not want to end the grievances of Tamil people once and for all. And the highlight at the bottom says, New Zealand pledges expertise on economic reforms. New Zealand has pledged to provide expertise for Sri Lanka's economic reforms, the Prime Minister's office said yesterday. And now, let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The main highlight says, Debate on two Buddhist bills put off indefinitely. Party leaders yesterday unanonymously decided not to take for debate the Buddhist Vihara Devalagam Act and the Theravada Bhikkhu Kathikavat Act till they are duly informed through official letters from chief prelates. The highlight in the middle says, Gota allowed travel to China. Columbus Chief Magistrate Gihan Pilapitiya yesterday permitted former Defence Secretary Gotabaya Rajapaksha to travel overseas. The order was issued after an application filed by the former Defence Secretary through President's Council's Ali Sabri was taken for hearing at the Columbus Chief Magistrate Court last morning. And the highlight at the bottom says, Gamman Pila lashes out at government. Sri Lanka's decision to abandon Pakistan and join hands with India to boycott the SAARC summit which was earlier scheduled to be held in November in Islamabad, Pakistan is a serious diplomatic error. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.